Alright, hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to teach you a trick by Kieran Cooper, and it's this upside down triangle. The trick, I would say, is one of Kieran Cooper's most iconic tricks. So here's what the trick looks like. And as you see right there, the uh, trick is a very short, it's a very poppy trick. And I think it's one of those tricks where you could use in a lot of different combinations and a lot of different tricks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let's get started on the first step. So the first step is to get into this mount right here. So in order to get into that mount, you would want to roll the yo-yo over your uh, dominant throw hand wrist, almost as if you're going into a 1.5 mount. And then you would want to bounce the yo-yo onto the top part of the uh, back string, which is this part right here. And then once the yo-yo is bouncing up into the top part of that string, you want to cross your thumb over and under the yo-yo so that you can undercut it and to jump into this mount right here. Now if you can't do that, you could always just simply uh, form a chopstick and maybe just inserting your finger through it and then you're basically getting into the same mount. You know, there are many ways to get into this mount, but uh, for the sake of this tutorial, you know, this is one of the ways that you can get into it. Once you're right here, you want to roll the entire yo-yo right here onto the front string, as so, and you're in this mount right here. Once you're in this mount, you can see that we're going to prepare for a slack over, or a tension slack is what it's called. You want to first pinch the strings right here, and then once you've done that, you want to simply just flick this back string off of your uh, non downward throw hand thumb, just like so. And then you can simply just drop it. And then once you're right here, pretty much, you can either just drop it or you can do a, a, a little maneuver, I'm not really sure what it's called, where you simply just do the tension slack. And then you want to put or put the string um, over your wrist and then simply go around the area like that. It's a much more smoother uh, transition into the trick, but it's but it really just depends on how you want to do the trick and whatever is easiest or you know best for you. You will want to do the tension slack, and then after that you want to simply just drop it, just like so, into this mount. And then once you're in this mount, it's a pretty straightforward uh, move. What you want to do is that you want to simply pinch this part of the string just a little bit, so it creates a slack right here on the back part of the string. And then what you want to do is that you, you will want to wrap the string around the yo-yo. So once you let the slack just kind of hang into the gap of the yo-yo, you want to simply just wrap this string around the uh, yo-yo or the axle. And then you're in this mount right here. Then once you're in this mount, you will want to simply pinch this part of the string right here. Just slightly, you know, not too hard. And then you will want to simply uh, throw this slack over here counterclockwise. Then from here you simply just bounce the yo-yo up and, and it goes into an upside down triangle. The whole effect of the upside down triangle, you will want to pop the yo-yo up into the uh, triangle as soon as the as soon as this slack right here reaches the bottom part of the yo-yo. Just like so. The trick is really just all about timing and so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm gonna try to get a few angles of this trick. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So again, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.